Hi, I'm Sai Kasivajala, Service Engineer for HMLD Central Region. In today's technical share, I'll be going over the inspection and maintenance of engine mounts. Specifically, I'll be going over the inspection, the preventative maintenance and failure modes of engine mounts. So let's get to it. What are engine mounts? Engine mounts are the component responsible for securing the engine of a vehicle or a machine to the chassis. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes to fit a wide variety of needs. But they all serve the same purpose, which is mounting the engine and dampening the engine vibration. As engine generates a considerable amount of vibration in their regular operation, when there is a problem with the engine mounts, it can usually be quite noticeable. Usually, problematic engine mounts will produce a few symptoms that can alert the driver or the operator of a potential issue that should be serviced. The most common symptoms that occur due to the failure of engine mounts are excessive vibration, noise from the engine and engine movement. On X15 engines, there are multiple engine mounts on the front and the rear side of the engine to reduce the effects of torsional and bending fatigue on the engine. On this slide, you can see the front side of the engine, where you can see three engine mounting bolts on the left and three main engine mounting bolts on the right. These six bolts connect the cylinder block to the front engine support. The front engine support is connected to the chassis using rubber and metal bolts for further dampening the vibration which go through the cross member on the truck or machine chassis. In this slide you can see there are two mounting pads on the rear side of the flywheel housing. On the left side there are six bolts and on the right side of the flywheel housing there are six bolts. These bolts mount the engine to the chassis for further vibration and sound dampening. In this section, we're going to talk about the benefits of preventative maintenance on engine mounts and bolts and the impacts of not performing it. Simply put, preventative maintenance of engine mounts is designed to ensure that not only your fleet, but the equipment you depend on continues to operate as expected when you need it to and is safe to operate. Some of the most critical and important benefits of preventative maintenance are reduced downtime which will lead to vehicle or machine uptime, reduced total cost of ownership and reduced progressive repairs on the engine. The main problem with putting off preventative maintenance of engine mount is that over time things will eventually wear down and sometimes even stop working completely. The main impacts are loss of engine stability and engine vibration transmissibility into the cab. The other impacts are progressive damage to universal joints, slip joints and driveline affecting the transmission and driveline components. Cummins provides preventative maintenance guidelines for engine mounting hardware for all the engines which are different for different engine platforms. Additionally, the customer or the fleet could create their own maintenance schedule. This is one of the most effective way to ensure that equipment keeps running smoothly. For example, heavy road train application may require more frequent inspection due to the heavy load application. In this picture, you can see a failed section of the bolt. The concentric circles merging at one corner indicates that the failure could be attributed to bending fatigue due to loose bolts. The face forces acting on the joint comprise of both dynamic axial loading from the weight of the engine and lateral loads as a result of braking, acceleration and cornering forces. In this example number two, 
the picture shows the rubber mounts which are seated below the flywheel housing. Material deterioration and cracking is a result of movement due to loose mounts. In this section, we're going to discuss the schedule of preventative maintenance for engine mounts and mounting bolts. It is recommended to follow the listed intervals per QuickSub Online or the local Cummins South Pacific maintenance guidelines, whichever applies for your engine. For example, for an ISX 15 CM2250 SN, Cummins South Pacific or CSP has released a local maintenance guidelines. See screenshot for my engine mounting board. It would also be beneficial to periodically inspect the six engine bolts on the front support bracket. Please refer to the original equipment manufacturer for torque specifications. Below are just some examples. For a QSX CM2350 X105, the maintenance intervals it takes 6000 hours or 2 years. For QSX CM570, the maintenance interval dictates that the engine mounts or the bolts should be inspected or repaired or replaced every 3000 hours or 2 years. And for an ISX CM2250 and on an automotive engine, the maintenance interval dictates that the engine mounting bolts need to be inspected or replaced every 3000 hours or 1 year or 200,000 kilometers. And in the final section, we're going to discuss the instructions on what to check for preventative maintenance for engine mounting bolts. Per QuickServe Online, the guidelines provided are as below. Check the torque on the engine mounting nuts and bolts on the flywheel housing and front of the engine. Tighten any that are loose. Refer to the original equipment manufacturer for torque specifications. Inspect the rubber for deterioration and age hardening. Replace any bolts that are broken or lost or damaged rubber. Lastly, due to the engine producing its own vibration due to regular operation, engine mounts play a very important and a critical role in engine vibration. At the time of a failure, apart from experiencing the discomfort in the cab, additional strain could be applied to engine mounts, engine components leading to progressive damage. If any issues are found on the engine mounts, it is highly recommended for it to be inspected by a professional and authorized technician. Thank you very much for all your time.